This is Twit. Meanwhile, Larry Page is making robot air taxis. I don't know when those are launched. <laughs> if ever. So I'm not allowed the, to touch pay drank the, anymore. The, the, co the, co the uh, company is Kitty Hawk. We've known about that for some time. Uh, and this is the Kitty Hawk Heaviside, named after, for some reason, the late English mathematician and physicist Oliver Heaviside. Not it's, named it's, after the Heaviside lair in the movie Cats, based mm. on the st uh, stage play Cats? Could be. Maybe that's named after based Oliver. Based on the poem... By T.S. Eliot? Yeah, I'm sure it was a poem, yes. The heavy side. I don't know, that's what I thought. It seems like heavy side's a bad name for something that flies, but I'm, <laughs> I, I could be wrong. Um, so th they think they will have uh, approval for electric air taxis uh, in 2023. If you've been waiting for flying cars, it's coming any day now. Um, I guess there's not a lot more to say about that. I, I My first CES... Um, included a press conference for the flying self-driven car <laughs> that was in 1995 <laughs> yeah no no this was uh, this was uh, like 2015 2016 okay. Okay. and i remember the the lead that i wrote uh was along the lines of you've been asking yourself where the hell are the flying cars here the hell are the flying cars yeah but and the answer is where the hell are the flying they're cars? always 10 Still. years out every <laughs> year they're 10 years out that's can the truth barely drive land cars this yeah. is not going to go well for us <laughs> yeah the, the new york times today did a feature story that is basically all of the flying car startups <laughs> that are out there, all of which have these things that are basically like small airplanes with many, many, many propellers. But the right. goal of all of these startups is to create something that's not affordable, but actually extremely expensive, but that can land sort of anywhere. They're, v they're VTOLs. They're, they're exactly. Virtual, they're drones for people. Vertical, vertical takeoff, takeoff and, and landing. landing. Yeah, Passenger yeah, yeah. drones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. Passenger drones, right? Exactly. You won't have a pilot. Instead, it'll theoretically fly itself. Although some of them are ultralight aircraft, and currently you have a you have a pilot. But they're trying to really they're trying to make a uh, a drone that's big enough to carry a, a person instead of just like a little HD camera. That's that's kind of what need they're that so that the, the Terminators will have something to ride in after Judgment Day. They're I recommend all this technology just in time. I recommend this New York Times story because you can't read to the end of it without thinking this is never going to work. <laughs> Well, here's a story from Forbes that will, might even underscore that. Apparently, the engineering for Heaviside was done by a, a guy named Damon Vanderlind. He conceived and built the initial versions, but was fired in May uh, by Thrun, Sebastian Thrun, who's the uh, CEO of uh, Kitty Hawk, and uh, Larry Page, former founder of Google, and, you know, money man behind uh, Kitty Hawk, because they disagreed uh, Sources, according to Forbes, said Vanderlyn thought the risk strategy that Thrun and Page were pursuing was too risky. Um, so who did they hire to replace him? The former editor of Wired magazine. Yeah, Chris Anderson. Chris Anderson, oh, good. who probably is a great engineer. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. He, he was the co-founder of 3D Robotics, which, remember, tried to uh, make a drone to compete with the DJI. And that's actually how you make a flying car is you stick on a, a, a thousand true fans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's it. That is a very Nobody good joke. Nobody got that one. I Nobody got it. Me. I like it. It's just for you. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, flying I, cars. I mean, really, place your bets. I got to do a seg you, you regular some, segment. You can win some money Boys if they ever make a flying car. I got to do a regular segment on this show, the Boys Annals Boys. of uh, Billionaires. Because they're up to oh, all man. sorts of stuff, like Jeff Bezos going to space. And, and then Richard Branson. Richard Branson, after Jeff Bezos announces he's going to go in space, says, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it before you do. <laughs> and now Elon's on a rocket Tesla tomorrow. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. It's a very That's moon raker kind was. of uh, it is. Of events with, uh, if you, if you, real Bezos moon raker going into space. You need, an, you need a giant mountain or maybe a secret island or something. Need a landing pad of money to fall into yeah. gently. I'm gonna have to read. The, I didn't. I missed this. I got the Sunday Times, but I, I missed this. Here's here's the flying car, taking. <laughs> you don't want to ride in that. The, one of their <laughs> one of their shots is of, of one of these cars coming in for a landing. It's the heavy side, and it is the most tenuous, oh, questionable Lord. landing ever. And I'm sitting there thinking, 
who released this as PR video? What this, that's the one. This yeah, is it. Just, Here the, it is. Yeah. The press conference a, I went to at CES. The vertical takeoff and landing. This is the CEO of this company <laughs> said, "Oh, I was first inspired to build the flying car because a dear friend of mine died in a helicopter accident." Oh, well, that's. And good. I'm thinking, do you want other people to join him? <laughs> why, why can't we just use the undisclosed UFO technology? Isn't it all just laying there ready for us to? Oh, implement? by the way, we're going to see uh, the 25th. We're going to see that report. Uh, to Congress about UFOs, although it was leaked, and apparently uh, it's all just uh, well, we weather know balloons. Everything. We know they have the technology to gas. travel between planets, but not to remain cloaked. That's we know. That's we know. We know everything we need to know. Yeah, about. they got everything they want except that. This does not look like something I want to ride in. No, the the part where it slams into the ground at the end is probably <laughs> a, a, a yeah. low point of that. It's got one. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight downward facing rotors, yeah. so and it is, is basically the, an upside down. This drone. is the video that they used. So imagine what the <laughs> other. This is a good one. This is a good version. This is of that a landing. good, good yeah. landing. Just, this took us twenty takes Again, to get this right. If you Any? want to be convinced that flying cars are never going to happen, read this article. Watch the videos. <laughs> Any Don't landing you can take off from. I mean, get a, walk away from is a good one, right? The right? flight is nice, but the sure. landing is 9.2 Gs. Jeez. And, of course, they're all expensive. That's the other Hundreds thing. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yes. Yeah. So it's not... Although you know. they do the usual uh, Silicon Valley sophistry where they say things like, oh, but once they are driving themselves, we'll make a pool of them and then right. they'll be available be like an Uber on demand. And then, yeah. and then when you calculate My all of neighbor. that, it will be much more expensive than flying or than uh, driving. Yeah. And it's like, no, that's not going to happen. That's, My neighbor not. has a seaplane just parked in the back on the river there and he takes off and lands all the time. So is this really that revolutionary, the technology? Honestly, I hope there are, are there angry... Um, Flying car people, like there are angry Tesla people and angry Bitcoin people. Are we just gonna? Are we on their list now? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah right, I'm on yeah, every list. Flying that car people. This one looks really kind pay of for Tesla flying cars or Bitcoin, and we're just gonna be having. Never this go back is uh, from a company called Opener. Again, not a great name. And it's mm. the Black Fly. The Black Fly. Because it probably buzzes and is a pet. Mm. And it's easily swatted out of the sky. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. Uh, it's going to take longer than people we need, think. We need transportation for the Boston <laughs> Dynamic Robots. That's all this is about. I swear to God, this looks like uh, this looks like the Onion. Here's it, a, a guidance, navigation, and control engineer at Opener in a custom flight simulator chair. Sure, that, that looks there good. There is a moment in this Catapult. story. <laughs> where he's talking, the, the reporter is talking to one of these people at one of these companies and they're extolling the virtues of how quiet the thing is and then they have to stop talking because it's taking off and it's way too loud. And you can see from that that the reporter is deeply it's, skeptical of this whole thing. Quiet is all relative. Cognitive dissonance. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, that's good. I will, Don't uh, wait for it. I will be reading that article. This is, uh, this is an you example of why the New York Times... Coin. Is is actually better online because you can't do these animated gifts in the uh, newspaper nope. or whatever. No animated uh, newspapers and no flying cars. Mm -mm. This future. <sighs> the Jetsons got it wrong. Mm.